very nervous filming this. I don't even know why. I thought I'm just gonna sit down and talk about it, but I feel really nervous. I, I just can't explain it, but anyhow. Hey guys hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new hi i'm georgiana and welcome to this video so today's video is something very personal and uh, i'm very emotional um filming this uh, i've been missing from youtube for a while uh, it was a break that i didn't expect it to be this long but it was much needed and this is the reason behind it I got a breast augmentation and um, I got the surgery done like six weeks ago. Uh, today I will talk about my journey, I will answer some questions and I will put some pictures before and after, tell you my reason why I got it done. I do recommend um, to get surgery done only if you have something that you've been wanting for a long time and you are very sure about your decision. It's something that you need to do your research for and uh, be in the right mindset to do it, know your reasons and uh, not just to jump on surgery because you have the money or the resources to do it. So I've been wanting this since I was about 16, 17 and um, my family knows about it, my close friends know that I've been wanting this and it's not new to them but maybe it's new to you, um, my online friends, how I want to call you or my online uh, community. It's just something that I wanted to get done because I love fashion, I love wearing crop tops, I love wearing summer uh, dresses, I love wearing bikinis when I go to the beach and uh, I never really felt 100% when I was wearing all of this stuff because it just doesn't see the way I envision it in my head. As I said, it's not for everyone. Some people are also very comfortable with smaller breasts and I have nothing against that. I loved my breasts before and I love them now. And this is not something that I hated about my body but just wanted to enhance it and I wanted to have that fullness. I'm very happy that I did not get this done earlier. Um, as I'm more mature now, I know I have deeper reasons for it. It's not superficial, it's not something that I want to get done for someone else to like me or like for guys or I never had a problem with that. It's just for myself and for me to feel comfortable in my body and to wake up every day and love myself completely and fully. So I got them done here in Hammersmith in London. I'm gonna put all the details in the description box as well if you're interested. And my surgeon's name is Dr. Di Taranto, Giuseppe Di Taranto. He's the best. I am so amazed with the results and with my recovery period. Like I could not even ask for something smoother and a better surgeon. I am my mind is blown like i will tell you all the details um but i cannot recommend this surgeon enough i paid for everything myself it's not sponsored the size that i got is 275 cc around implant under the muscle and high profile the implant brand is called mentor if you're doing real research you will see that um, it's not after um, bra sized it's uh, the implant size and 275cc was the biggest size that the surgeon recommended to me the biggest one that he could fit in after he took my measurements having everything planned in my brain and i knew what size i want to have i wanted to be a double d and uh, i thought i'm gonna have uh, 300 325 or something like that cc but um yeah, he took my measurements, his, so he basically measured from left to the right every each one of them and the distance and he came to the conclusion that that one is the best for me and the highest he could go. He wanted me to go with um, textured implants, which I wasn't okay with. I wanted smooth implant. When I did my research on YouTube and I watched a lot of videos, um, I didn't find all the information that I needed. 
but so you can actually have an idea I'm petite I'm five feet two and I'm 46 kg at the moment um, so for me 275cc looks perfect for my frame and I'm so glad my surgeon recommended this as I don't think that I would I would like if I would have gone bigger so I went for smooth implant because I did my research and there is something related to cancer I'm not sure exactly what I was reading back then uh, you can do your research as well and I went with high profile as I didn't have much going on before like I had 32A I wanted that pro projection as well and that's what he recommended that's what my surgeon recommended too so I trusted him with that um, also I went under the muscle because it looks more natural and um, it doesn't doesn't have that fake look unless you are um, a bodybuilder or you like to do chest in the gym um, I personally would recommend to go over the muscle uh, but I know some girls who did and they still look very good they still look natural they look like they didn't have a good job um, so yeah it's um, about um, doing your research and choose what you think is best for you and what the surgeon advise you based on the results you want to have at the end how do I decide to go for this surgery and um, choose my surgeon I did my research I found some surgeries some private hospitals and I went through the reviews I went to their Instagram page to see before and after but this one is the one that stood out for me and uh, as soon as I was scrolling through their Instagram profile uh, they have different surgeons not only one and I saw this surgeon work and they look very natural they looked very um, they look fitted for the body type that uh, he's operating on that attracted me most that he was not exaggerating he was kind of going for natural looks on most of his patients that attracted me to get um, a consultation with him most of the patients that are getting the surgery done there they have private profiles where they post about their uh, journey and uh, they help each other it's like a community it's like a little community um, for uh, this procedure and not only this one but mainly for breast documentation and I made a profile myself um, it's a private one this is only for girls if you want to have access to it just message me on Instagram under Georgiana Leah about my incisions, my incisions are under my breast, they are very small, they're still healing so um, I'm gonna start using some oil for them to fade a bit faster but overall I'm so happy, they are so small and um, you can't even notice them because they sit in the fold. Now let's talk about the uh, cost of the surgery. It's between 4k and 7k, it depends on uh, your situation, it depends on what are you looking to get done, if it's an uplift as well or it's just um, breast documentation. Just know that uh, everything is included. My consultation was for free. This is one thing that I was actually amazed about that I didn't have to pay anything for my consultation I just paid uh, a reservation fee I think it's a reservation fee uh, when I had after my consultation after I was happy to go on with the surgery I paid uh, an amount and the outstanding amount I paid just 30 days before my surgery only six weeks post surgery and I'm not sure what bra size I'm yet. I wanna I'm planning to go to Victoria's Secrets and get that professionally done. But I recently got a Primark um, underwired bra to just see how it fits and have an idea and I got a 32C and it fits very nice. Actually it fits perfect, but you know how Primark bras are. 
um, it's not accurate so once I get that done I'm gonna update you guys and I probably do a second video all of this was the basic information that I gave you guys now I'm gonna read some of the questions that I have here and uh, answer them I will start with uh, recovery time how long was the recovery time and how long did you have to take off from work so I got off from work two weeks and three weeks of uni I work from home my job doesn't require a lot of movement um, I'm work on my laptop and um, nothing I don't have to carry anything I don't have to lift anything so um, I do recommend if you get your surgery done you have to take off at least two and a half weeks because um, at the beginning uh, you can't you can't basically do anything you need someone there 24 7 at least for one week and a half you need someone there 24 7 and i had someone to take care of me i couldn't even open a bottle of water because you actually and i underestimated how much i use my um, breast muscle you need that breast muscle to open a door to open water bottle to basically do everything need someone to even help you to get out of bed because you know when you get out of bed you use your hands and you use your breast muscles so it's painful if you try to do that by yourself how long do you need to wear a surgical bra I will do a separate video about surgical bras and explain more in depth there but um, for me I had to wear it for six weeks um, and I just stopped wearing it. I'm still wearing it sometimes, I wear it in night time as well when I go to sleep. How long was it until you could do normal everyday things like get dressed or like small things? To do normal everyday stuff I needed about one week. Then after one week I trusted myself to do everything alone and not ask for help or clean and cook um, after one week was possible. I still had issue when I, when I opened the door. I still felt a um, strange sensation, but it was manageable. Was there anything that made you a bit nervous on the day of the surgery? Yes, uh, being put to sleep. That freaked me out. The thought of that freaked me out. I never, I was never put to sleep before. And I was also um, a bit nervous about the sickness that I'm gonna get afterwards as you normally get sick um, after you get put to sleep but it was it was amazing like the experience was so good I wasn't sick at all after the surgery it reassured me that I use something that doesn't make the patient sick after after they wake up from the surgery and that relieved that made me feel more relieved once i got into the theater everybody had a very good and positive energy they were making jokes talking to me asked me about a holiday to think about a holiday and the next minute i was gone it happened so fast and i just woke up with boobies <laughs> it was amazing uh, were you able to walk okay after you wake up um, not 100% so I felt a bit of a dizzy sensation or when I woke up um, I mean I I woke up I felt uh, a bit of pain they brought me to another room and I wanted to go uh, to the toilet and I asked the nurse um, she helped me to get there because I felt a bit dizzy um, it wasn't something that I couldn't manage um, sometimes I get dizzy because I got lack of iron but the feeling of dizziness was there so she helped me to get to the bathroom and it was gone in like five minutes what pain relief did they give you um, I have to get a lift and worried about the nipple pain I got antibiotics and codeine and I had to take um, codeine like every six hours um, I took that only for three days approximately I think as um, I didn't have much pain. One thing that I was scared for the surgery as well it was the pain because I can't really manage pain. I'm very sensitive and um, all of that but uh, I barely had any pain in my recovery time and that is something that I'm so grateful for. Um, I took the painkillers for three weeks just in case, for three weeks, for three days just in case. 
but I stopped them as I noticed that I barely have pain just when I when I wanted to stand up but I had help and um, it didn't hurt really um, I just got like two weeks ago uh, some stabbing pain started to happen as they are dropping I think um, but it's it's just for like one second or two seconds and it happened only a few times. Um, other than that, my pain was very low. Uh, do you know the reason you had to have a band? Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to tell you about this. Um, I also had a band on top of my um, surgery bra. And uh, I had that band because my surgeon put it on before after my surgery before I woke up. I asked my surgeon and he said it's um, helping them to stay in place, not move upwards and drop a bit faster. So basically it reduces the fullness of the upper pole of the breast and it keeps the breast implants for migrating upwards and I had to wear that for four weeks every morning um every day uh, 24 hours a day a lot of questions about the band but i just answered them how long do you have to have off the gym uh they say about four to six weeks afterwards i can start with light um workouts and just the lower body not upper body and no weights i started going to gym already after weeks or something i think as i felt I felt very good, um, I didn't have an issue anymore and I started working on my lower body, squats and all of that um, and recently I started to work with some weights but nothing major, just small weights, 5kg, 10kg, not more than 10kg. What bras do we need post-op? As I said, I'm gonna do a separate video on this. Um, I'm just gonna say I had Lipoelastic and Macom and my favorite brand uh, so far through this journey is Macom. I also have a discount code from them. I'm gonna put in the description box and if you need any more information about it, I will do a separate video on that and um, the difference between them. I'm three days post-op and I feel so tired, swollen and sore. When did you feel less sore? Up to two weeks I had the same as well. Um, it, the feeling of tightness was there. I didn't, as I mentioned, I didn't have much pain but it felt very uncomfortable for the first week. Um, especially because I had a band on, it felt so tight. I felt out of breath when I was going for my daily walks. So I was, for the second day I was going for walks and um, I felt out of breath very fast and then I went home as soon as I felt that way. It was a lot of pressure and very, very tight. Um, but that went away after one and a half weeks. Something that you needed after the Preparation, food or drinks. I had some snacks with me but I ended up not needing them because um, they gave me Capri Sun, they gave me yogurt, um, I had a tuna sandwich from Pret which I chose uh, prior to the operation, prior to surgery. They asked me one or two days before I got a call and I said I prefer the tuna one and that was it. I had water. They gave me a lot of water. I was so dehydrated when I got out of the surgery. I drank plenty of water. I remember those days. I drank so much water like never in my life. And the nurse was so sweet. She even gave me a water bottle on the way. Have you been feeling lethargic and exhausted since the op operation or feeling back to yourself? Yes, 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 yes for everything. <laughs> I've been feeling uh, exhausted and very tired for a while, for a few weeks and even now I still feel exhausted sometimes. This is why I took a break from YouTube. I didn't film uh, because I got back to work, I have my university, I have my assignments and it's just too much for me right now. Um, so I just got to filming, back to filming today. Sorry for the long break. But this is the reason because I felt very tired and um, I started to get um, my um, energy back just maybe two weeks ago fully. Sometimes I still feel like I have no energy and I need more sleep. 
but this is normal as I'm still early days and um, just one month and a half after the surgery. Take that in consideration and don't overdo it and uh, rest as much as you can. I'm nine days post surgery. When did yours start to soften? Mine are still so hard and slightly swollen. Mine started to soften after two weeks approximately and uh, they were swollen but not too much and they were high so yeah, after two weeks um, they started to feel soft and I was so over the moon I was so happy I just touched them and I felt the softness on the on the top and on the side I was shouting I was so happy uh, did you lose the feeling or are they numb and if yes for how long the numbness was mainly in the bottom side where uh, just above the incisions and um, I got it back very very fast everything else I could feel nothing was numb on the top nowhere else and I'm so happy about that I didn't lose my sensitivity sensitivity but the thing that who drove me crazy uh, was the sensitivity of my nipples oh my god so when I went for my walks that was so sensitive like I can't even explain how sensitive they were because it was also cold outside and I think that it, that made them even more sensitive and I hated it it stopped since one week and a half now it's not like that anymore they are not as sensitive they are normal now but it drove me crazy it was so so the feeling was so strong and this is how they look like from the front i love them like i'm so happy with my results i'm, I'm over the moon I'm so happy I did this and um, one of them is still sitting a bit higher I think you can see this one the left one is sitting a bit higher and um, this dropped earlier okay guys this was it this was a very personal video and emotional at the beginning I didn't know how to start it I felt overwhelmed which I didn't even think I will be now you know why I've been gone for a while why I've been missing from YouTube I'm back now with new strength and more energy to film everything if you have any more questions please feel free to message me on Instagram or just leave your questions in the comment section don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more boob related videos very soon and I got some bikini haul coming after this video. I can't wait to show you some really really nice bikinis that I got recently and yeah don't forget to subscribe for that. Thank you so much for watching this video and I shall see you next time. Bye!